family's meant everything to me because I'm such an intense guy when it comes to the racing that I used to just take it home with me really bad and, you know, dwell on the bad days and, uh, you know, and, and not be able to turn the page on, on, you know, for the next card. But, man, they don't give you time. You don't have time to pout with these kids. here at our favorite unwind place in the mornings where I do my best handicapping at Shelly's Pike Inn and uh, we're going to catch a bite to eat before we go in and uh, face the boys. <laughs> Hi everybody. My good luck booth is open. There you go. Your good luck booth is open. Okay. Hey, I'm a celebrity too. Yeah, yeah that's right. What? You must be quite a celebrity there, kid. <laughs> oh, look out, mama. <laughs> Traumatizing everybody in here in the Pike Inn. How are you? Good, how are you? Good. How you doing, buddy? All right, buddy. This is the owner, Greg. Probably the sharpest poker player you'll ever <laughs> <Yeah>. see. <laughs> the dumbest, believe me. How you doing? Good. You got the church club? Yes. Yeah, church club on wheat, no wait. mayo. Okay. As usual. Yes. Church My club usual. on wheat, no mayo. You give me the same thing, that's good. Okay. If you come to Houston, PA, you got to come to the Pike Inn. It's our favorite spot. Yes, it is. Breakfast, lunch. And we can just turn our kids loose and nobody cares. It's going to be a long day. 20 year old white pony. Favorite horse of the barn. Maybe Sweet Lou. I, I might have to change that now. Blue might be my second favorite horse. I think Sweet Lou is my favorite. Oh, don't tell Blue that. All right, the next thing we got to do on our routine list is we got to make our uh, daily phone call to my buddy Scotty, who he, he's the best man in my wedding. He's my best friend in the world. I talk to him daily about everything and anything. I have no idea what we're going to talk about. I never do, but this is a character. You guys will love him. Hey, give me some New Jersey rabble. Jersey rabble, buddy. I'm working for Myron today. You know that. I'm The parrot on the Meadowlands show? Yeah, I'll follow him. He's probably better than I can. That's happening. Pretty Philly. She's a good Philly operator. She's a good horse. Yeah, I'm looking forward to her. Get the money today. Good luck. I'll pick you later. All right, buddy. Love you. Later. Bye bye. Bye bye. What's up, Weave? Nothing, man. Just heading to the track. Phone. Uh oh, this is headquarters. It's the boss. Hello. Oh, okay. That that'll that'll work out better then. I'll just use that. Oh, okay. Good. Well, I'll probably use both bikes, but uh, I'm probably gonna try that new one out today and put those new wheels on it. So. Okay. Sounds good. We'll see you at the track. Love you. Bye. I think Beth Ann told me my parents are coming down tonight, so uh, so that's a plus. I got to we got to eat too. That's very important. So I, I can't imagine what she's going to have on the menu tonight. I, I know one of Beth Ann's dreams and something that I, I could foresee doing that would uh, make me very happy is uh, Beth Ann's an occupational therapist by trade. So we've kicked it around about maybe building an uh, indoor riding facility and uh, having hippotherapy for handicapped children where they can come to the farm and, um, and ride the horses. It was always one that uh, liked night racing, but I've got used to this afternoon stuff because if I want to squeeze in nine holes or, you know, I still have my nights to, to do things with the kids. So it, it works out good. Got you. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Does it ever get monotonous? You know, it does on those rainy, cold, miserable days. I can't say that I love being in here, and I'm also not a big fan of all these races, 16 races. I think we oversaturate sometimes, but you know, whatever we have to do to make things go. This is the routine. First thing we're gonna do is blow in the breathalyzer. I was real nervous when Hervé was here for the 15,000. So uh, I'm sure that that day is going to be extra nerve-wracking. 
Uh, we'll get through it. Hi, guys. What's going on? Hi, Rich. Hi, Did nice you guys bring this nice weather? Yeah, huh? we're trying to. All right, good deal. I put the wheels on here. I'm sure yeah, that's good. It, right? That's perfect. It's all ready. So, uh, we'll have to set the up Yeah. First thing we do is blow in. What's up, guys? How are we doing? Good. How are you? All right. This is the guy that gets the show started here. Joe, he's the starter. What's going on? <laughs> 12, 11. All right, buddy. Here we go. This is like 30 years ago. Look at that picture now. Is that great or what? Well, look at that. Huh? That's a rock star right there. The tan. 5'9", 143. It's been a long time since that. Now tell them who started you out in the business. <laughs> Art started me out in the business. No, One of the first did. ones, yeah. Well, what was that old horse's name? Oh, geez, I can't remember. That was a long time ago. You sold you your first race horse. Yeah. Free-legged pacer. It used to let you come in and jog when you were still in school. Say another routine thing. Go get my coffee, you know. Listen to the nonsense. Maybe catch a word from this. From this guy here. Yeah. What's up, boss? How you doing, man? How you been? Hear good things about you. Huh? Doing okay. I have had the same routine at the Meadows since I got there. If you want to find me, I'm going to be sitting in the paddock judge's office with Bobby Sutton. I'll call him right now, all right? All right. <laughs> Bobby, Bobby going, so. I can't help it, man. I told him this is my routine. So that's, yeah, I said, he this he's is, the boss. No, <laughs> that's not true. true. That's no. not true at all. He knows that. that. You, if somebody yeah. comes in well, and hey, don't, we don't, he don't well, like him, he just, there they go. <laughs> You're going to come in and see a real grinded out day today. Yeah. That's, what are you going to do? Uh, so one thing about it, we won't tease each other if we don't win a race, right? No, we don't ever say no, that. No, no. We don't ever say that. And we never make fun of anybody in this room. No, this is very... Not very even gentleman, Gerfine. Very gentlemanly, sedate. Right. This is Shia Lunacy. Huh? Got any scratches today? None. Nothing. Everybody wants to race. Our buddy, Randy Bendis, one of the leading trainers at the Meadows. Uh, that's the nicest thing I've ever heard you well, say. Well, that's it. That is the nicest thing. Yeah. I'm, I have to be nice on now. camera. You know yeah, what I mean? I mean Make sure you get that bob is. tattoo in there too. Yeah, yeah. That's, yeah, that's, yeah. Nice I'm not, that's how you'll know. <laughs> right. I'm not seeing my horse. I uh, don't yeah. Care. But this is what I told you guys about. This goes on for oh, yeah, another five hours. Yeah, five hours it is. We all right. see some stupid drives. Yeah. Today. There'll be some. Yeah. yeah. A lot of heat. Well, I know you guys are rooting for me to win a race. <laughs> I am one. <laughs> oh, I am working for you today, Randy. Yeah. Uh, here, you want something to drink? I'll get you something to drink. No. no? Just win with your horse, huh? Can you okay. with I can. I gotta be in. The, I gotta get ready, hon. Okay. He's late. We can't run as fast as Daddy. <laughs> Okay, guys. This isn't going to make any sense to you guys at all. You've got to be a driver to know what I'm doing here. I've got to break the bike seat so I can get my lean on, you know? <laughs> Hold that bike right and let me just. You know, he was a little bumpier gated, I thought. I just hated to go out on a L, you know? I am very competitive. And uh, if there's one thing that I brought to the table, I think, in the last. 28, 30 years, however long I've been racing, is uh, I think I show up every night wanting to win races. He wasn't and, too bad. Uh, th that's a quality you must have beast. as a driver when it's raining out or it's yeah. snowing or you've got that's kind a of a weak card, you're not you know? feeling so well, you have to show up. And um, that's one thing that uh, I don't think I do anything special, but I do have a pretty good work ethic. And um, I've you know, kept my nose to the grindstone over the years. And I think that's how the numbers racked up as quick as they did. I guess not a bad start. That's where I thought he'd be. He's just a good old horse, dependable, but he's really not the best on the lead. And the horse was dropping from 15s, and when that horse got to his head, he just kind of surrendered. But it was a good effort all in all. He's a good, dependable horse. Not a bad start. No, not too bad. Is she better if you let her get into the race? Yes. Okay. Absolutely. And she's a good gate horse and stuff good like gated that. Horse. Okay. And, uh, yes. How'd the Phillies come back, Jim? 
Good. We were gonna get a good trip. I don't know what she did. She got, she got a little pacey behind the gate and then she just got a little pacey there. I'm not sure what she did. She's gonna get a great trip too. All right, I'll, you guys stop back over or what? Yeah, we're gonna go get pizza. They're hungry okay. and ice cream. Go get some pizza. Say okay. Bye bye. You wanna give daddy a kiss? Give daddy a kiss. Mm. She's sleeping, she's sleeping. <laughs> They're wore out already. <laughs> the guy that I owe a lot of my credit to is uh, a fellow from Holland, Herman Halkima, who was my father's first trainer. And uh, Herman was a, a stickler for detail. You know, he ran a a beautiful barn, everything was immaculately clean, uh, everything was done right, you know, as far as cooling the horses out and taking care of them and doing their legs up and stuff, things that we've kind of got away from these days. I like to know the next race, who I've got, and, and have a strategy in there. I don't dwell on it a lot. Hello. How you doing? Yeah. Yeah, we went 51 three weeks ago. Okay. Good deal. Shut out today. <laughs> it's nice when you get the opportunity to drive horses like that for Brittany Farms and Jim Tactor. Obviously, she's her pedigree speaks for itself. Can't tab passionate glide. So uh, the nice thing about her is she's so drivable. And I was hoping I could just get her across and, and control the race. And uh, you always want them to get an easy when they're first time back under the under the lights. And I was happy with the way it went. My little girl's tough. You want Daddy to kiss your boo boo? Oh, she's so tough. I'd hurt her because she was running and she fell. Uh oh. <laughs> oh like, no. We're gonna go home and get. We're a having nap. a Pallone meltdown. This is this is just as if whenever I get a three to five shot beat, this is kind of the same thing we do. Beth Ann has to hold me on her lap and <laughs> and talk me back into it. Talk so, her back into yeah. it. Yeah. We'll be all right though. Hi guys. All right, boss. You must have got drilled. That horse kicks. Yeah, that horse kicks. Hey. Come on. Hey. Wait, he sulk at the half. Awesome. I'm home in four minutes from here, yeah. you know? Yeah. He did a lot of cod. <laughs> he would race he, he would race at freehold and then either go to the Meadowlands or go to Yonkers or Even now, man, it's, uh, it's not easy to do 